we go now to a few questions using lists. We try to solve those problems incrementally. First one will be easy, then we add a level of difficulty here. Uh, fill the list with what values? Write a program that asks the user to enter what? 10 names and store them in what? Okay. You know, you know how many names? Yes or no? So you either can create an empty list or append it. Huh? Come on. In all cases, you need to create an empty list. So how many names you need to enter? 10 names. Okay. Let, <clears throat> let's write the code here. Okay. List one dot Python. Enter 10 names and that's it. So can I say names equals what, Yali? That's halas. Now I can go here for what? I in what? Range 10. Sahulala. Right? What? Name is equal to what? Input. Enter. Enter name. That's it. Una what? Names is a list, sah? Append what? Name. Does that make sense? That's it, sah? To save, to save a few seconds, I'll just make this what? Five. Mashi, run. So you'll be asked to do input five times, right? Okay, enter name. Okay, Ali, Abdullah, Hamad. Nasser, Hassan, and I forgot to print the list. <laughs> print what? Names. Tamam. So you know how, how this is going to be. Mazboot. Okay. Right. Now, let me change the question. I want the names to be last in, to be the first in the list. And I want the names, the first one I enter to be at the end of the list. How to do this? Very simple. We should append the tiny. Insert. Insert, you can decide where to put it. Insert zero here. What's going to happen? It will always put what? The, the thing in the first place and move the others. Does that make sense? Because insert, you decide where it. So now, the last in will be the first. Yes or no? Now we test it again. Enter name. I Ziad, first one. Okay. Hassan, second. Okay. Muhammad, okay. Third. Okay. Abdullah, Mathalan. Okay. And uh, Nasser. Here. See. What's the first one? What's the first one? Nasser. Because everyone is inserted at which position? First position. And the others will be what? وخر وخر ها تمام يعني زي واحد بيجي على اول الطابور all the time does that make sense the tabur will go so each, each new one will go to the for beginning of the of the line does that make sense طيب what's the second question here second question is also simple write a program that asks the user to fill list from number to what just fill no input here صح ولا لا so fill number from what 1 to 100 give me there are 10, 10 different ways how to do this. List two dot what? Dot by. There are one million ways how to do it. Yalla. Huh? Okay. Let us say values equals what? Empty list. Tabha, I'm not going to put empty list. Can I do this times 100? Sahulala, repetition operator here. Print what? Values. I know Ali, for loop is fine. Sah? But is this one values? Huh? Now. A list of 100 zeros. Tayyip. Can you fill it here? Now. Uh huh. You need a loop now, sah? Tayyip. For what? I in what? In range 100, sah? Will a 1, 100, or 1? Is this the right best way? Now, what to do? Values. I is equal to what? I. Values of what? Values for I in range one. La 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 la. We need to be in zero here. Okay, zero to one hundred. Yalla luli. Values I is equal to I plus one. Does that make sense? Yani awal wahad is gonna be one. Second one is gonna be two. Does that make sense? Okay. Taib to make sure. Brent what here? 
Brent, what's the name? The Brent values, which is what? The list name. Let's make sure this one is going to work fine here. One, two, three, ten. After ten here, because I made a mistake, I believe, sir. This is going to be 100, sir. Okay. So, did we use, you said the value, but if, if your list is empty, Ali, what should you have? What could you have done? In this case, it must be what? Must be values dot what? Append, sah or la? Append what? I plus. Okay, let's see if you. Not easy. Why we didn't do this in the first time? Because we already have those places available in the set in the list. Append. Okay, here run. We get this. Is it the same thing we are looking for? Okay, we started from one to one hundred. Does that make sense? And there are so many ways how to do it. Come on. Okay. Uh, let us see what else we have here. Write a program that said fill a list with numbers. It depends on how you do it. Okay, find, fill and process list. Write a program that asks the user to enter. Ah, now he's entering how many? And store them in a list. That's fine. Using loops, find what? Sum, average, and number of values greater than what? Yani first, we need to fill a list. No, we will not use any what? No built-in bar functions. And yani we do this using what? Using loops. So how many values are we going to do? 10 loops. So let us do list 3.python here. Okay. So let me say values is equal to empty strings. Huh? Now I need to go in a loop, right? For i in what? In range 10, right? So here I say n is equal to integer what? Input. Okay. Enter n, for example. And now we do what? Append it, huh? Values dot append n. Now we have 10 values in the list. Mashilhan. Now I need. Yalla. Sum is equal to what? For i in what? Now I can say for i in. In values. Sahulala. Because I don't need the index to add them all. Sahulala. I don't need the index, right? Okay. But to fill, do I need the index? Unless you use a pen, sah? For i in values, what? Sum plus equal what? You know, when you use for i range, you use the index. For i in values, you are using the value itself. Does that make sense? Okay, sum plus equal what i. Now we have the sum. Yalla, how to do the average? AVG is equal to what? Sum. Yeah, just let me just change this to what? Sum plus equal i. And that's it. Sum is equal to uh, average is equal to what? Is equal to sum over len of what? Len of values. Length, so we know how many values. Tayyip, I need to know how many how many values in the list are greater than what? The average. So count. Okay. Count. G greater is equal to initially to what? Tayyip, for I in values. Okay. If what? If I is what? Greater than what? AVG. صح? Is it? And then count plus one. I did. I need. I need to know how many are greater than the. بس خلصنا دان صح? So Brent, what here now? Sum is equal to what? Sum, right? Brent average is equal to that thing. Average is equal to AVG. And Brent, what finally? Okay, uh, values, okay, count, count greater, values, values greater, I'll shift to greater, but see, I don't believe, than average. Come on, let's run this here, that needs S, right? So I need to fill with 10 values first, enter N, 19, 11, whatever values here, I'm entering quickly. Okay, uh, sum is this much, average, clearly. Three values are greater than the average. Does that make sense? Yes, I can. Where? 
this loop. Okay. Do I need the loop? Where? Here? Yeah, he said, I, I understand now. Sum is here. He said, do it in one hand. After you get the value, he said, just add it to sum. Yeah, that's fine. That's correct, even. That's correct. Now he said, no need for the second. Keep adding them to the sum while you are inputting. Right. And keep adding them while you are inputting them. Nefis ha, when you have 10 values, but if you have 10 million values, that one is more professional. Does that make sense? Hey, what's the, here? Something wrong? We made a change, huh? Did we make a change here? Okay, let's see what happens here. Ah, enter N, tamam, khalas, okay. Control C. So let's see the next question. <clears throat> okay. Read what? Names from a file in a list. Very simple. Two lines. Write a program that reads all the names, txt, file, into a list. This is one line. Because you can append them one by one to a list, or you can use which function? Read lines. What does read lines return? A list. But read line returns what? String. So if you want to read string by string and append them to a list, that's fine. But read lines will do what? We'll read each line and each line will be what? Uh, in an item. Let us see how, how this is going to work. I know we can do it easily, but let us see the original way of doing it. Let me make sure. Uh, let me create names file here, yeah, Shabab. Names.txt. Tamam. Okay. Ali. Hassan. Okay. Nasser. Hamad. Amal. Muna. Bilal. Tamam. We have names. Saved it. Okay, let's do this now. Sorry, here. List four dot Python. What's the file name? F dot open what? Names txt. Which mode Ali? Read mode. Now you can read by line by line. And take the line, add it, huh? I can say names list. Names list is an equal to what? Empty list. And then say what? Name is equal to what? F dot what? Read line واحد. Read line turn a string. تمام? Okay. Uh, نقول له مرة واحدة إيش كمان? R strip با جاهزين. Good. Well, while loop, our while loop will be what? While what? While name is not equal to what? Empty string. Which will be إيش? Again, ah, uh, ah. Uh, it will be what now? Names list. Taban, this is we are doing it the hard way, huh? Names list dot what? Append what? Name. Or last line in this loop will be what? Last line in the loop. Read again. Sah or la? So now, out of now, we close the file, right? And do what next? Brent list names what? List. Let us see what what will be in the list. And now I showed you how we do it manually. Is this is right? Is this is our output? Let me do it in another way, in two lines, huh? Here. I will say f dot open. Okay. Quick. Uh, we were quick. What? Names list. Okay. Is equal to f dot what, yeah, Shabab? F dot read line or read lines? Read lines. Tamam. So this one f dot what here now? We have the file again, okay? F dot close and here print what? Quick. يعني هاي جبناها بسرعة quick names list. Let us see the output. طبعا yeah. The the only thing that you need later to do what? Backslash n. But in in one statement you read all of these things using what? يا شباب read lines return the a list of items in the file. That's why I wanted you to see both how to manually do it and how we do it. 
Okay, you need to know both. Sometimes you need to go and pinpoint some values and go line by line like this, and sometimes you can read everything. Okay, does that make sense now? Okay. Uh, now, next one. Write a program that reads all the numbers from the numbers txt file and store them in a list. If it's numbers, but we need to convert them back to what? Uh, to float. Split the list into two lists. One for what? And the other for what? Even. Tamam. Let us see our numbers file here. So what's the question again? Read the numbers in a list. Split them into two lists. Odd and even. Two lists. And you compare if it's odd or even. Right? In this case, you need to convert the text to what? Numeric value. Right? So you either you will need to do it somehow, some somewhere. Mashi. Okay. Let's say here we have a text file called what? Numbers.txt. Okay. And uh, each one in a line. Tamam. We can have as many values as you want. We don't know. Maybe millions. Maybe uh, small values. So at the end, what do I need to do, Yashabab? I need to read them in a list first. Then what? Split the list into two. One for what? One for odd and for one for even. Tamam. Save here. So now number. This is example number what? Number five. Okay. Dot Python. Okay. F dot open. You all know this now. File name is what? Numbers dot txt. Which mode we are opening it? Read mode, صح? Okay, tamam. Hatta, now I can, now I can see, I can read it all in a list. Oh, I can say, a num, n list, yani number list, is equal to what? F dot read lines, does that make sense? But I still need to read lines, tamam. I need to go and convert each number from its string to what? It's what? Integer value, huh? See now, print n list, I want you to see this now. See, break and list. See here. What do you have? Sahih digits you have, but they are what? Are they numeric values or strings? Do you get this? Tamam. Taib. Now, how to convert them? Basita. For what? I. In what? In range. You need the index now because you are changing each value. Sahulala. You need the index. Tamam. For I. In range what? Len of what? Length and list, ah, Taib. What to do? Ash and list and list i is equal to what? Integer, who integer? So I'll see. Integer what? And int ah, integer of and list what? I. Taib. That's خلاص. After the loop, let us see what happens. Print what? And list. Now, we converted each value to its what? E yeah. Equivalent. See the output now? See? This was the output before we do. Is this in numbers or what? And now they are what? Numbers. Now it's easy to do split, uh, convert, reverse, whatever you want you can do. Does that make sense? Let us create a function. Could it what? Okay. Split. Let us call a function. Call it split. In, in list. Taib, yalla. What does the function do here now? Def, okay, that, okay, and list. Okay, and list will make a new list called what? Add. Akid ali muafir, sah? Another list equals what? Even. Now for what? I, in, what? In, and list. What to do? If what? Now we know they are numeric, sah? If i modulus 2 equal equal 0, then what? Even what? append what? Uh, uh, i, which is the value. Else, these are integers. It cannot be anything else. Else what? r dot append what? i. That's it. Khalasna, by the way. Done here. We just need maybe somewhere to close this file here. f dot what? I close this much. Does that make sense now? Return, yeah, we will return, but the logic at least is what? 
return. Uh, let me just make it print. Okay, print is odd, and then print what? Even. So now let's run this code now here. Good. Is it correct? So this list all what? And this list all what? Even. Tamam. Done. Huh? Okay. Okay. Let's see this question. Lists and what? And files. Uh, okay. Reading. Uh, yeah. Let's see this. List. Ah. Uh, Sublist. What's a sublist? A list that is completely inside what? Not sets. Huh? The question says, hey, what? Do not use sets. Huh? These are lists. Huh? We still don't talk about sets. Write a function that is is sub list x that takes two lists x and y. Return true if the first first huh? there was an R here somewhere. If the first list is what sub list of the second. Yani that is what ya Muhammad. Every element in x is where every element in x. If one is not, then is is it a sub list? Come on, Mashi. So let's do this here and see what we're going to do. List, what's, what's the question number? 6.python here. Okay. Let us create just randomly two lists. Come on. Okay. 10, 3, 44, 5, 66. And here y is equal 30, 35, 56, 60, whatever. I'm just putting random values. Okay. Now our function is called what? Our function will be is def is what? Sub list. And this will take two lists. Huh? This should return what? True or what? False. Right. If one of them, if one of them is missing, then it's what? It's it's false. To make my life easy, what I did now, I put all of them in what? Okay, type in the first. Can I say for item in X if item not in in Y return false? Can I do this? Khalas, not coming. No, no need for a break if you use return. If you use return, no need for a break. Khalas, merja. If you use return from anywhere, no need for break. It will go back. If, if all of them are inside, it will, is it going to go to return false? So what do you do here? Return what? True. Or what? Okay, if return false, true. Or what? If, it, if it's false, it will not reach here. If it's false, it will not reach here. If it's false, it will If it reaches line 5, why? No, why? Because it will it was it will uh, never gone inside this if statement so you can do it the classic way you say match false true huh and here you can say what sub list equals what true mind and here you say can say what sub list equals what false and find and what break and here you can say what Sub list. Does that make sense? Yeah, sub list true. But if one of them is not in Y, sub list will be what? Okay. Now Brent. Okay. Is what? Is sub list what? X comma Y. Now here I think we get true, صح? كلهم فيها, صح? Let's remove it now. Now it's not a sub list, right? So which value? Third, uh, forty-four. Well, I'm 44. Five. Five. Should I think five? Five will not be in the sublist. So here, when it comes, when it's five, not in Y, it will change this to, uh, let us say, print item. We will see that. A print item. Which one, which item will be printed? Only five. Why? Because it will, when it reaches five, it will find five, not in Y. So it will go for the first time here. Let us see this now. Does that make sense? Why five printed? Because five was the only element in the list 
or awwal wahad, first one in list A, that does not exist in what? In list B. Does that make sense? Any question? Okay. Uh, call your function, we are done. Okay, write a function that is what? We call it what? That receives what? Two lists and return what? A list contains the element that are in the first, but not in the second. Okay, we will use the same code. We will create a function called what? Def what? We have seen this with sets, huh? but with sets it's a different idea. Okay. It will return what? Yeah, the question. Returns a list. Most true false. Returns a list. That's everything in A that is not in what? In B. Type. So, H, diff, empty list. For item in X. You all agree? If item not in Y, D dot append, sorry, append item. Ali Mwafa. Sah? Okay, so here, for I, that's Khalasna, by the way. Huh? I'm brand D, I shall wait. Tamam. For each item, type here, 10. Is it in, uh, is it, it's in Y, sah? It will not append it. 3, it will not. 44. 5 will be appended, sah? خليني أحط أرقام هيك عجيبة 999-888 okay 777 I know يعني which numbers will be added صح ولا لا right let us see what happens here I did not call the function so what's the function name now difference difference what x and y let me call the function is it these are the what things that are in what but not in the second of course it's a very simple thing you do in the loop. And if I tell you in the second, not in the first, what you, nothing. For item in Y. If I tell you in both, in both, union, uh, intersect, huh? what's intersect? Things that are in A and, how are we gonna do it? We did it with, we did it in the lab, but uh, what's intersect? Yalla, only intersect, huh? intersect. Okay, for item in X, if item in Y, if it's in both, is this going to work? If it's in both X and, and Y, صح ولا لا? Yeah, we are doing, okay, Inter, intersect what? X comma Y. Very, well, very powerful. Uh, 10, 3, 44. This is what, yeah. Uh, is it 10, 3, 44? 10, 3 and 44, right? Must Good. Tamam. Excellent. 